Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year. I hope 2022 is treating you well thus far. Today I am doing a video which is kind of new for me. I've never really done anything like this, but I am going to be giving you 22 eco-friendly swaps that you can make in 2022. But before I start, I just want to say that these 22 things, you don't have to do all of them. I don't do all of them. Um, they're just ideas, you know, if you are just wanting to think a little bit more eco-friendly, these are just 22 things you could potentially swap this year. But like I said, I don't do all of them. Most of them I have implemented. Um, some of them I'm still yet to try. But I feel like if everyone watching this video just did a handful of these, then that would make a really positive impact on the planet, which I think is something that is really important to do in 2022. But like I said, only do what's right for you. Some of these things are not going to work for everyone. And some of these things not everyone is going to be able to do, whether it's for financial reasons or um, lifestyle reasons, anything like that. So I just wanted to say that as a disclaimer. Don't feel pressured to implement any of these into your lifestyle but I don't think you'd be watching this video if you weren't interested in doing it anyway. Anyway now that little part is over let's start with 22 eco swaps to make in 2022. Okay so the first one is you could swap your current plastic toothbrush for a bamboo one. I have done this in the past I swapped my regular plastic toothbrush for a bamboo one and I got on really well with it but when I went to the dentist they did say I hadn't been to the dentist in a very long time and they told me I should probably be using an electric an electric toothbrush. So I have I do use an electric toothbrush now. Um in the future I believe you can get heads for your electric toothbrush that are more eco-friendly, but at the moment I'm just using some real budget ones. Um but that is something I would like to do in the future. Um the bamboo toothbrushes, if you use a normal plastic toothbrush right now and not a um electric one the switch to a bamboo one is just easy to do because they're really cheap they work the same and i really liked using them when i did use them okay the second thing you can swap is liquid soap or cleanser for a bar of soap i did this last year i used the dove beauty cream bar and that's what i use on my body unfortunately it comes in plastic packaging but you get six bars of soap for less than three pounds, so it works out really well financially for me. And then they come individually individually wrapped in um, paper packaging, cardboard packaging, which is recyclable. Um, I just put this on some exfoliating gloves and then use that for my body. And I would say that's definitely an easy swap to make for me personally, because I was never massively attached to any particular like bottled shower gel or anything. I used to quite like the um, Sanix, 0% fragrance free um, body wash but that Dove Fit Soap, is, it just works so well. Just put it on my exfoliating gloves, rub it all over my body, Bob's your uncle and they last so long as well. I bought that pack of six ages ago and I've still got two left and I've just started one so I basically have three left. Um, the next swap you could do is you could swap your makeup wipes and cotton pads for reusable cotton pads. I keep mine in this jar. Um, this isn't all of them because lots of them are actually in the wash at the minute. I know, well, they're in a bag waiting to be washed. So this is just some of them. And yeah, I use these to, if I was being lazy and using my cellar water, I would use it to take my makeup off, but I very rarely do that. I normally wash my face with cleanser and a flannel. But I use that uh, the cotton pads for my like um, acids and stuff on my face, and um, yeah, they're just so much better than using the throwaway ones. They're really simple to use. You just have a little bag that you put the dirty ones in, and then when you've got a bag full, you just put them in the wash. Really easy. It's a you can get them pretty cheap in Wilkinsons, and then there's some other brands that are a little bit more expensive, but. Um, you can find them reasonably priced. The next swap you could make is swapping your plastic cotton buds for um, paper ones or reusable. So I've got here 100 biodegradable bamboo cotton buds. I believe Johnson's also do ones that are recyclable now, but if you look, they're like wooden here instead. And I use these just for like 
cleaning up nail varnish, cleaning up makeup and stuff. You can also buy a reusable cotton bud, which is made out of... I actually don't know for sure because I never loved the idea of it for me. I want to say it's made out of a silicone or something maybe, but I could be wrong. And then you just clean that after each use. Um, but yeah, these work really well for me, the paper ones. Biodegradable. The next thing you could swap is you could swap your plastic water bottles for reusable ones. Um, disclaimer, this was gifted to me on Instagram, um, um, but this is just a bottle that I have. I've got quite a few reusable bottles. I've got one over there. That one's my favourite because I put it in my handbag. It's quite small. Um, this one here you can put hot or cold drinks in and it's got a carabiner clip for if you were wanted to clip it on your push chair or something if you have a baby I do not um and yeah it opens up like that or you can drink out the top but um I found this to be one of the easiest swaps for me to make I used to drink a lot of bottles water and the thing about buying bottles water is you're just the, pe the companies that make bottled water, they're just making bottles because the water just comes from a natural source. So I know it sounds silly, but you're not getting special water particularly, unless I suppose there are some brands that are quite specialised. But generally speaking, the bottles I was buying, I would buy like packs of 12 and I would just leave them in my bedside table so I always had water. It's just as easy to fill up a glass and take it to bed or a bottle. Um... Yeah, this was definitely one of the easiest changes I implemented. And I never buy bottled water anymore unless I'm going to a football game because I'm not allowed to take in my reusable bottle with me. But what I do when I go to a football game is I buy a bottle of water after the game and then I take it home with me and then I take that before the game and then I have to throw that. So like I'm reusing those bottles as well. Um, but yeah, I don't buy them that often at all because I don't need to, because I love all my reusable bottles. They're kind of an extra accessory to me, so I like them. Oh, I forgot to grab these and I really don't feel like going to get them now, but the next swap you could swap out is you could swap cling film for these silicone um, tops to put on bowls. I've got some downstairs, but like I said, I can't bother to go get them. So if you're making like, um, left, if you've got leftovers or something and you don't have any Tupperware, you just want to keep it in the bowl, instead of cling filming the top, you can buy these silicone tops that you stretch over the bowl. They work just as well. They're reusable. You can wash them, etc., etc. Or you can get, um, wax ones as well, which work really well and they can often be cute with nice little patterns on. The next thing you could swap, if you are a person who menstruates, you could swap your tampons and sanitary pads for um, a diva cup or period pants. I use period pants, I really like them. I don't use them for my whole cycle because I don't have enough of them. I need to get some more, so I kind of alternate between pads and period pants. Um, but if that is something you would be interested in. I hear very good things about the menstrual cups. I think I specifically just said Diva Cup. I meant to say menstrual cup. I didn't want to shout out any particular brand. Um, but yeah, they, they don't massively appeal to me, the cups, but I really get on with the pants. I really, really like them. The ones I use are from Cheeky Wipes, but you can also use Wooka. Um, what are some of the other big ones? Can't remember right now, but I definitely want to try some other ones. The next thing you could swap, I should have put this after toothbrush, is you could swap your toothpaste, which nine times out of ten comes in plastic packaging, you could swap that for toothpaste tablets, which are these just little tablets that I think you chew and then it gets a little bit foamy in your mouth and then you brush. I really want to try some of these. I haven't tried them yet, but I'm really interested in trying some. Um, so that's another thing you could swap. And in a similar vein to that, you can also get dissolvable mouthwash tablets. So um, you could swap your plastic mouthwash for uh, these tablets, which I'm guessing you just put in water and then you swallow it around your mouth and it's just a tablet, so no excess packaging. Now, a few years ago, the UK implemented charges for plastic bags. So I think a lot of you will already be doing this, but that is swapping your plastic carrier bags for reusable bags. This is just a canvas tote bag that I got from the Cotton On Foundation. I love tote bags. You can also get a kind of plastic, more durable bags for life. Oh, you can't, I've got a couple in the background there with some stuff in that you can't really see. Um, yeah, these bags for life were implemented in the supermarkets a long time ago. And the theory was that it's a bag for life and when it breaks they give you a new bag. I don't know if they actually 
do that if that's still like the the rule of them but um that was the intention when they first came out but yeah the plastic bags man they take such a long time to break down um so yeah I just bung a tote bag in my handbag with me or I often use my tote bag as a handbag and um never without it I very rarely forget one I did have to buy a carrier bag the other day I was very upset with myself I went out I wasn't intending on buying anything and then I had to buy something and I had to buy a carrier bag I was devastated with myself <laughs> In a similar vein to your water bottles, you could swap your coffee cup for a reusable coffee cup. Again, this one was gifted, full disclosure. Um, blah, 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 blah. A lot of places as well, they a lot of coffee shops have an incentive where if you bring your own cup, you get some money off. So that's always good. I don't drink a lot of coffee when I go out. So I don't often take a reusable coffee cup with me because I don't a whole lot to drink takeaway coffee if I'm going to have a coffee I'm normally going to sit down and have one but I do have a few of these knocking around for if I want to go for a walk and want to take a hot drink with me or something it's really good for that you can get these anywhere nowadays same with the water bottles you can get them in so many places they are really on the rise like they used to be a little bit more of a niche thing to find but now you can honestly find them on any high street charity shops often have their own as well and the next thing that you could swap is wrapping paper. When it's Christmas or birthdays, you could use brown paper, brown craft paper instead of wrapping paper. Or you could just make sure you are looking for wrapping paper that is recyclable. And a lot of them are now. A lot of um, shops have really taken this and run with it. And there is a lot more options now. I have been using brown paper for quite a few years now and I like to decorate my brown paper. This is actually something I've printed for my sister's 30th this weekend. This is, I just did this on my printer. In hindsight, I'm not sure if it's recyclable now that it's got printer ink on, I'll have to look into that. But yeah, I just did this on my iPad, 30 flirting thriving, and then it's got Jennifer Garner from 13 going on 13 here. And yeah, just a little bit of A4 wrapping paper there. That I can wrap a present up with. You can also, it's a, a little bit late by this point, but once you are done with your opening your presents, you can do the scrunch test to know if paper is recyclable. So if you scrunch up some paper and it starts to go like this, so imagine this is the ball of paper. If it starts to unfurl a little bit like this, uncurl, <laughs> unfurl, I don't know what the word is, then it's not recyclable. If it starts to spring back like this, if it stays scrunched up, then it probably is recyclable. So that's a really good um, method that I use to know if paper is recyclable. And as a side note, this isn't one of the swaps, but it probably should have been. As a side note, you can get recyclable tape and you can use washi tape as well, which are biodegradable, recyclable, etc. Do your own research on that sort of thing though, because everyone is different. The next thing you could swap is you could swap your throwaway razor for something reusable. This one is from Friction Free Shaving. It actually has my name engraved on here. You probably can't see it, but it's very special. Um, so these are called safety razors, I think, and you just change the heads on them whenever you need to. I do not change them as often as I should. And I need some more blades actually, but you can get these in loads of places. You can get them in the men's section. You probably can get them in the women's section more now as well, but the men's section will definitely have them. Whereas the women's one, it might be dependent on what shop you're in sort of thing. And yeah, you just, Rechange that blade and it's a lot less stuff going in landfill that way, which is good. And I believe friction free shaving also have a system where you can send them your old blades and they'll do something with it. But don't quote me on that, I should have done my research. The next thing you could swap is you could swap your deodorant for something that is refillable. Um, I have got this deodorant here. This is Salt of the Earth Unscented Effective Natural Deodorant. The bottle is made from 100% plant derived plastic and you can refill it. I am yet to be able to refill this because I haven't been financially able to because the refills come in, I mean it's good value for money but they come in a big bag and they're a little bit out of my budget right now but I will hang on to this, the bottle once I'm done with it. Um, because then I can refill it. But there are quite a lot of reusable, refillable deodorants now. Uh, there's Wild 
and there's a bunch of others I'm sure but yeah that's the one that I've got. Now the next thing you could swap got spoken about quite a lot in the news and that is straws. Now this was something that got banned a few years ago didn't it, the plastic straws and it caused a little bit of controversy um, and rightly so um, but if they are they are something that you can if you're able to swap pretty easily in your home because we used to have this big kind of 1950s straw dispenser it was pretty cool and it just had all plastic straws in but there were so many plastic straws in it it's kind of horrifying to think about it now all that plastic but um uh, yeah, so we always have straws in the house, so it was pretty easy for us to just go out and buy some of these bad boys. These are pretty cheap as well. We've got a couple of random ones in here as well. We've got a paper one that came from a party or something, I think. Didn't get used, obviously. Um, but yeah, these are all just kind of funky little straws. You get some that are straight, some that have got a curve on it. And these were pretty cheap, probably from Amazon, if I'm honest. You got the thing to clean them with here. And yeah, for, up, for my family, that was an easy swap to make. I also have a straw that my sister got me. Because when I'm out in the pub and stuff, I do like a straw with my vodka and orange juice. Oh, I just dropped the little keyring thing. So this is a fold-up straw. It actually has a little keyring thing on it that I've just dropped off and it's pretty cool actually it kind of opens like that and then you kind of just slot it on and then bob's your uncle it kind of does that and then you've got to fold it back up again it's like got silicone in it i think underneath which bends and then the metal on the thing and then in here it's got a cute little thing that i'm not going to be able to pull out but yeah that's just your on the go straw, you could take that if you're going on holiday or something, if you're dedicated to the cause. That's from Ion 8, collapsible straw. Ah, the next thing is something that I've also left downstairs and don't feel like going to get, but it's reusable Ziploc bags. We have always been a pretty big Ziploc bag family in my house, I'm not gonna lie. And my mum found some online that are reusable, I think they're made of silicone again, and um yeah they they you just wash them out when you're done with them they're good for like freezing stuff like soup and stuff as well that's what my parents use it for i don't really like soup so i don't know a whole lot about that but um yeah they they're exactly what you'd expect they them to be they're just reusable ziploc bags now this next one could cause some controversy <laughs> uh but it's easy for me to say because i'm not really a book lover but you could theoretically don't feel pressured to please don't come at me you could swap buying books for a Kindle or for using your local library. I have a Kindle right here, courtesy of my dad. Um, I don't know how many books you can get on this bad boy. I'm imagining a lot. Um, but I also know that book lovers take their reading and their books very seriously. So if you're just a casual book reader, maybe library books and Kindles will be for you. But if you're someone that loves books don't feel pressured to <laughs> switch them out just for the sake of the planet because there are a bunch of other things you could that you can do that would be more beneficial anyway but that's just a little idea if you're more of a casual reader or maybe if you don't have a lot of space in your house using your local library or a kindle could be really beneficial for you another thing that i've got downstairs and don't feel like getting you could swap your batteries for reusable batteries Batteries are pretty difficult to recycle. That's why you have to take them to specialist places. You can't just bung them in with your recycling at home. So um, reusable batteries are a pretty good alternative. They look like regular, if you're not familiar with them, they look like your regular batteries, your AA, your, uh, probably AAA. I think we only have AA in my house. And then you have a little battery pack and you just charge them bad boys up and you can reuse them and reuse them time and time again. Less stuff going to landfill is always good. The next thing you could swap here, I was... Um, clutching at straws trying to find 22 <laughs> you could swap your plastic laundry pegs for bamboo or wooden ones we don't have a washing line anymore because it broke um so i don't think i have any pegs in the house anyway but um wooden ones are just way better for the planet than the plastic ones um the next thing you could do is if you've got a t-shirt that you don't use anymore and it is not good enough to go to a charity shop or um, a friend or anything like that to be reused as a t-shirt you could cut it up and you could use it as cloths for your dishes for dusting your mirrors your glass you could use it for washing your face anything like that if it's just a little bit too far gone to make to be any 
use to someone as a t-shirt just cut it up make it as a cloth or uh, just for some material if you wanted some material for something whether you were maybe doing a cross stitch uh, embroidery sort of thing just an idea the next thing you could do is you could swap your blue kind of surgical looking masks for reusable ones I'm very pleased to say that I have gone this whole pandemic so far without using a throwaway mask I know that that isn't the same for everyone because of work or lifestyle or anything like that but I'm really pleased that I've managed to get this far without um, using a throwaway one however I am terrible at cleaning them they always have makeup on them they always look gross but so far touch wood I've not caught covid so they're clearly doing a good job these ones I got in pound land I got a pack of three for five pounds five pound land um you can get them from a multitude of places um Etsy is also a nice place if you want to get a handmade one I haven't had much luck with my handmade ones but that was because I was always buying the cheapest ones but yeah these ones have done me really well and I I'm going to put them here so I remember to wash them because they need a wash and the final swap that you could potentially implement into 2022 is a clothes swap. Clothes swapping can come in a multitude of different ways. Um, you could do, go to a physical clothes swap where you take some clothes, other people take clothes and you swap them like that. You could go on a Facebook group. There's one called Swap Family Finds. Um, where you can swap clothes with people on there or my personal favorite which is the method I have used in the past is big sister swap you send them a some of your clothes for a specified weight and they send you clothes of specified weight back you um, tell them things you like things you don't like you can send them a mood board you can send them your Instagram page so they know what kind of clothes you like and um, they swap you back clothes and then your clothes get swapped to someone else and it's just an amazing cycle of clothes swapping goodness. I have done a video on Big Sister Swap before which you can find just by searching Big Sister Swap on my channel and uh, yeah I really like that service. I think it's a really good idea and it keeps your clothes being loved. So those are the 22 eco-friendly swaps that you could make in 2022. I hope it didn't feel too preachy. It was just a video that I wanted to do. I don't get a lot of ideas for videos on this channel so when I got this one I thought yeah I want to do that and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope I feel like a lot of these are probably obvious so I hope that there's like one or two that you hadn't thought of before that might maybe sparks an idea in you of something that you could implement into your life. Let me know in the comments if this sort of content interests you. I can try and put more videos out of this subject if that's something people want. Obviously I've got an Instagram account that is dedicated to sustainable secondhand fashion which is linked in the description and yeah I hope you guys liked it. I feel like I have talked for a really long time and just waffled on but uh, I hope you guys are all well and I'll speak to you soon in another video. Bye!